What is going on guys? This is Zix here of Magna Crypto back with another video. And so today's video, I wanted to talk about the state of the crypto market, in particular the top 10, and to talk about real, real world solutions that are actually being offered at the moment or the lack of real world use cases that are being offered by the market. So you can see from looking at the top 10 cryptos within the market that you know we are actually very very early on and everyone people within the market know that but i don't think you know everyone quite realizes how early on we are because when you look at the top 10 how many of them are actually being used in the real world and that's what i want to make this video on because i've selected two and a half that are basically being used in the real world and you can argue that Bitcoin is a store of value, but and that you know there are shops that you can use Bitcoin as a as money. Really and truly, people are not doing that, and that's a, that's definitely the same with Litecoin. There are shops where they accept Bitcoin or Litecoin, but people aren't doing that on scale. It's only a few excited cryptocurrency investors that just want to use their bitcoin or litecoin to pay for things but that is an absolute minuscule portion of the population even of the crypto population let alone you know the global population so you know and that's the same with bitcoin cash as well so you can't really use them uh, as an argument to say that it's being used in the real world the only three or two and a half as i said that are being used properly are as such and you can disagree with me or you can agree with me, but these are real world and backed up by facts. Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency platform built on smart contracts, is probably the most popular within the crypto community for that purpose. And as you can see, 240 DeFi projects have been listed and 199 of them are built on the Ethereum. So there's a lot of uh, growth within that market. And it's, it's grown to a level where a billion dollars has been locked up within this crypto DeFi market built on Ethereum. So you can see that there's actually a lot of adoption and some of that includes, for example, using Ethereum, locking that up, using Ethereum as collateral to borrow cash on or to earn interest within that. And that's just one of the many use cases that people are using Ethereum in the real world so that's a clear use case and you can see the the metrics are right there in front of you um, however it's not quite crossed over to the real world properly because you know this is still somewhat within the crypto community where you can use ether people that know about crypto would would buy ether lock it up earn interest or whatever so it's not really people on the street that are using ethereum for, for or companies you know regular companies that are using ethereum uh, to solve any problem so it's that's why i said that's the point five when within my two and a half that i say are using uh, are solving real world problems the next one which actually is quite a late entry is is tezos so tezos is for is is fronting the security token tokenization movement uh, they're able to tokenize securities digitally it gives them the opportunity to do many new things with securities, make them more liquid, more accessible, uh, and much more easier to transfer uh, compared to what the state of, of security to securities are today, which are very illiquid, so very, very slow to move, and is only accessible to a small number of, of buyers compared to, to more liquid assets. So as you can see, Banco, BTG, Paxual, uh, Latin America's largest standalone investment bank. So this is not this isn't a small player. Announced today that has officially issued its right BZ token on the Tezos blo blockchain, successfully executing on the firm's July announcement to utilize Tezos for security token offerings. And this marks the first non-Ethereum issuance of right BZ, a digital security backed by Brazilian real estate, which, is, which was initially issued on the Ethereum network in May 2019. So again, you can see the real world application of the Tezos blockchain again. 
which is which is fantastic and as as i mentioned this is not a small time player this is latin america's largest standalone investment bank so you can see the uh, the usefulness of the tezos blockchain which is fantastic if you've invested in it and there's still uh, a lot more to gain from that and this is not the only investment company that invested that used tezos for this purpose another large investment company that has used the tezos blockchain but i just want to get this evidence to prove my point and then to finish this off we have ripple and xrp which is although an, um, an unpopular cryptocurrency within the crypto community mainly bitcoin maximalist it is probably the most used in the real world amongst all of them as you can see moneygram ceo which is a new a new partner of ripple says 10 percent of the transaction between mexico and the us use on-demand liquidity so ripple are solving the cross-border payment problem where if you wanted to send money to internationally it would take on average three to five to working days and the fees would be quite high so ripple are solving that but using their digital asset xrp reducing that time from three to five days to a couple of seconds and as well reduce, reducing the fees from an average of 45 dollars to you know under 10 dollars so cost savings are 40 to 70 percent which is absolutely amazing so the mexico to us corridor is probably their most popular one or their most successful one so far where they have the greatest market share they also have other corridors open just not as successful and they are continually working to open more and more corridors and they will the grit and the, the bigger the network grows the more successful the more efficient it will become so this is only the beginning so going back to the top 10 as i said really truly outside of the crypto market these coins are not really being used so this is a very good thing because it just go, it just goes to show that this we are so early on in this journey uh, that even the top 10 are not fully being utilized outside of the crypto market so this means that there's a long way to go and that there's a lot more gains to make if you if you're if you've invested early or even if you're slowly investing now so that's where i want to end this video I hope you got some value from that and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.